Look, look what's happened when I come. The sun stops shining, starts snowing. And I gotta work on that damned outhouse again. Never it, get that. It done. always rains or snows or something happens when I work on the outhouse. <laughs> Every single time. Every time. Yeah. So here we go again. Snowing pretty good. Yeah. For October. Yeah. Yep. We used to get this I brought used to go in October regularly. Yeah. Yeah, I'll get that done. Yeah, okay. I'll probably just throw that inside for now. Yeah. You guys brought a little blizzard with you. What's that? You brought a blizzard. Jesus. Can you believe it? Wow, this is something. I got some co- uh, Yeah, let's see how these are gonna, gonna work. I think they'll work pretty good. What do you think? I like it. There's one for socks. Yeah, nice. These plastic ones are kind of. There's my. <laughs> what are we hanging with that? You know what that is? Yeah. Trap setter? Yeah, trap setter. We'll hang it over here. Hey, it's good to be back up here. Yeah. Geez, I haven't been in quite a spell. Since that 100 degree summer day. Yeah. But they say uh, Halloween Day is supposed to be what? In the 70s again. Really? Yeah, yeah, we're playing golf at Bangor Muni on Thursday. It's going to be 67 degrees. It's snowing like crazy right now. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're in the snow belt up here. Yeah. All right, Donnie, I'm going to open up this carbon. Yeah. This come all the way from Canada. I commissioned this from a guy that Donnie met in Canada. Donnie bought one. And okay. I, I saw it and I said, I gotta have it. Huh. So I had the guy carve me one. Huh. This guy up in Canada. In Canada? Yeah. yeah. I'm pretty excited. I hope it's all intact. Huh. This is Gord's his name, of course it is, right? Yeah. Gord Willis. Wooden feather carving. Hmm. Huh. This is Tweed Side Harvey Station, New Brunswick. Oh, it's two pieces. Yeah. Hmm. This is the precious piece. Hmm. Huh. It's an axe? Yeah. Yeah. Huh. And guess what sits on it? Oh, a bird? Yeah. Guess what type of bird? Partridge. Better. Even Wood, better. Woodcock? No. Even, be even better. You're thinking you're thinking of an eaten bird. Yeah. Oh. Huh. I don't know. Blue yeah. uh go gobby. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, gobby. Hmm. You get the honor. No, go ahead. No, I've already done mine. Oh. I got Huh. I like the axe. Oh. Hmm. I do not want to break it. Yeah. That friggin' came out awesome, oh, yeah. didn't it? That is gorgeous. Good, yeah. Jeez. Huh. He does hmm. really good work. Oh. Yeah, there's two spurs there. Oh. You see it? One of them yeah. sort of covered up by the leg. Oh. Let's go. That's wooden, right? Does it go the other way? Facing the other way? No? No, I d well, maybe. Maybe it's got crushed. Yeah, because that, that one's longer. Yeah, these the got... These the lower got. one's longer, so it looks as though it goes yeah. that way. <clears throat> there we go. Oh, okay. <clears throat> huh. That is friggin' awesome. Yeah. <laughs> That's where in the hell are we going to put that, Dave? Hmm. I don't know. Up where it can be seen. Yeah. 
I almost think we got to build a shelf for yeah, it. Yeah, it's right say, over there underneath. Yeah, yeah a little, yeah. little shelf right over there. Yeah. Or, yeah, right underneath. That would be awesome. Otherwise, yeah. somebody's going to knock it off a shelf. Yeah. Gee, you got this decorated good, Joey. Yeah, not too much stuff. <laughs> no, it's no, just, great. just enough. No, it's super. All right, I am working on the beds. I finished the first bunk bed and Donnie brought up a couple more pieces of lumber for me. So hopefully I get the second bed made up. It's snowing pretty good right now. We're uh, confusing because the sun's out, but it's snowing pretty good. So that's what it is. I'm working on the, on the beds and we'll show you those bunk beds as soon as I finish them up. bunk beds are officially done we got uh just finished up building this it's a double it's a queen it's a queen bunk bed got the um decor on there got the sheets and and uh quilts but that's a super super rugged that thing's not moving you can get a couple of really big presque isle women up on there and that thing ain't gonna move so Got that pretty good. Got Donnie a nice bed to sleep on. Right down there. I don't know who's gonna be up there, maybe me. But two queens there. I went all out on them things. I said, well, I ain't gonna build this awesome, beautiful camp and get crappy, tiny mattresses or real thin foam ones. So I went all out, memory foam, beautiful beauty rest mattresses. And then over here, I got, um, Double, I got two twin XLs, so they're the same length, a little bit wider, and they're twins, um, both memory foam too. As you can see, we're kind of throwing a bunch of stuff on one for now. That's all stuff from the, for the outhouse. Donnie's just got into camp today, so he's working on the outhouse now. As you can see, we got a pretty, pretty fair amount of snow. But there's, that's gonna be the chemical composting toilet. And he's working on insulating and v-matching that outhouse and we're gonna get some heat and electric in there too It's gonna be one of the finer ones in the north main woods All right, it's day five on the trap line and I got a special guest with me hey. The one and only hey, how's it going this morning? You'll never guess what we uh, we're out early checking coyote traps and believe it or not we got we one. We got one in the trap right ahead of us. We got the headlights on it now. Yep, so, so we we got a catch. Yeah. We're gonna go dispatch it. Yeah, geez, not a bad one. Not a bad. It looks small in the trap. Right. But man. Full size. Yeah, that's pretty 25 pounds? Oh, it's gotta be. I yeah. Think. Yeah, that's pretty decent. Looks, looks good and prime. Yeah. Yeah, nice one. Nice color. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, there you go. Nice coyote. Yeah. 
wilderness coyote in North Main Woods and yeah. good catch. No, that's uh, bigger than he looked. What do we got in between the legs? Bit another female. Uh yeah. Yeah. Another female. Wow. Great. Two females. Great. Thanks, Donnie. Yep. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Guys, it's uh it's this is the fifth day of coyote trapping. I I got like two dozen sets in and it's been a struggle. There's just there's not no, many coyote around. No and, movement here. Yeah, and the proof's in the pudding. Whereas, you know, you normally see coyote tracks everywhere we're hunting and leaving scat in the road and and uh, marking territories from other ones and and tracks in the mud or snow. And we have not seen one coyote track yet other than this one we just caught. So, but we got another 20 traps to check. So we're pretty excited. If we could get, geez, multi-catch day would be awesome. Fur should have been moving last night with that snowstorm oh, we yeah, got. We got it's getting colder, you know, moving. You know, we've had such warm weather. Yeah. That, you know, I don't think you get the movement out of the animals. That no. Maybe and I got I'm wrong about that, but. No, it, well, they don't have to eat. They don't. They're not forced to eat for, you know, as much as when it gets cold. They have to eat. Right. And plus, you know, all the smaller animals that they eat are moving too yeah. because of the cold. So. Oh. Right now we got 14 degrees, and so it got, it was like 17 last night. We're in that last half hour before light where the temperature always drops a couple clicks. So we're down to 14. We got about an inch and a half of snow, two inches probably at the camp. Yeah. We're on high ground right now, and it only looks like we got an inch here. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we got a, probably only a couple more days left of coyote trapping for us, and then we're gonna switch over to Martin and Fisher. So if you like this kind of stuff, stay tuned, guys. Yeah. You know, just so you guys know at home, I, oh, uh, there goes a uh, woodcock or partridge. I couldn't tell. Uh, that must have been a woodcock. I, I don't know. Partridge. It didn't go up like No, a you're right. Yeah. Huh. Uh, just so you guys know at home, I, I'm never going to show you guys a coyote in a trap or, um, or like a kill shot on one. I know uh, some trapping videos and trappers will do that, but I, at a, you know, respect for the animal and, you know. Respect for the viewers that, you yeah. know, some viewers wouldn't, uh, wouldn't really like that. Yeah. But, I know. mean, we don't love it ourselves, to be honest with you, but it's part of the game and part of the whole life of it. And, you know, for dignity, for the animal, really, you know, it's at its, it's, it's a high dignity animal with a lot of pride and it's at its lowest point in its life when it's in that trap and it's life's about over. So you'll never see me post it. You know, I don't like when guys shoot video with a live animal behind them and then and talk to the camera and right. stuff. So yeah. you'll never see that on my channel. Yeah, not good. But, but, you know, we will show you. So I have my other traps right there. There's nothing in it, see yeah. it? Right. But we will show you, you know, like the coyote and I'll go over skinning and stretching and, and all that good stuff and you know, we'll, we'll show you all that stuff, but as far as, you know, to, I guess, remain respectful and keep dignity, you won't see a live one in our trap. Yeah. And then when we move on to Martin and Fisher, those traps are called Kana bears and they kill the animal instantly. So, um, you know, they're not discerning traps. They'll kill whatever gets in it. So we have some safeguards for those, but we'll show you those, you know, in the trap. But in the, as far as the, uh, coyotes go with foothold traps. You know, we won't show you those. All right. Well, the sun is, the, the uh, horizon's getting kind of pinky. Yeah. Oh, there's been some beautiful sunsets and sunrises up here. Yeah. We are some lucky. It's going to be a nice clear day. Yep. So Donnie just rolled into the camp yesterday with David Ames, his brother-in-law, and they brought snow with them. I'm so excited, guys. Yeah. This is awesome. And today's also opening day of the third moose hunt where they shoot pregnant cows, right? Yeah. 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 This, I'm, I'm surprised they have that hunt in this area. Yeah. I know they have it in zone four. Yeah. But. Uh, well, I don't think this one's the adaptive hunt. Okay. This, this one's just a regular cow hunt. Okay. It isn't. You yeah. don't have to cut the uterus out of a, I don't out think of a so. cow for the biologist to check. Well, I don't know. Who knows anymore? Yeah, I mean, 
Yeah. I think you might have to collect DNA and do a <laughs> <laughs> do a DNA sample on them. And, Oh, yeah. RNA, DNA, mRNA. I, I just don't, nurse, uh, CNA. You know, just my own personal view. Like, you know, I really don't know why they have that type of hunt. Yeah. Where they they might kill not just the cow, but she may be pregnant. They should they be pregnant calf. by now. Yeah, and uh, I just don't get what they're after to find out about. Yeah. You know, I got to read up on it. I guess. So, find out more about it but yeah. it seems uh it seems kind of crazy to me to you know kill a pregnant cow yeah know? i agree I'm, I'm of the same mindset donnie's in let us know in the comments you know if you guys have researched it more than us yeah. <laughs> can't see ya no you can't see anything but there's the calf right there you all right <laughs> he went tell, flat. Tell the folks what. <laughs> yeah, we just we just came across two moose, a mother and a calf, and they split up, and the calf started running down the road and went right on its behind and tried to put the brakes put the on. Brakes <laughs> on to get into the woods. She's and, standing right there. Ah, uh, didn't see her now. I she, can't. Oh, she can't just. Really see you. She just went. Oh my god, she tried that to, to turn back to go to the mom and she wiped right out. I wish we'd had that camera on that I know one. What? That would have been a good one. Oh, you could see the wipe out. Yeah, right. Hey, we got one. Oh, another one. Yeah, that's great. This is friggin' awesome. We got another coyote, guys. Yeah, number two of the day. How's it feel, Donnie? Pretty heavy. Yeah. Another big main coyote. But, uh, another big female. It, uh... It's amazing how much cold weather, to me, makes a difference in how they're traveling. You know, they're really searching for food. That's not a bad coyote. No, it's good. It's full-grown female. Yeah. yeah. 25, 30 pounder? Yeah. Yeah, sweet. It's a lot better having a pickup truck to run a trap line. It's better to have a pickup truck to run a trap line. Yeah. But we'll make do. Found some good sheds. Yeah, I never found a deer shed in my life until maybe 2010, and then I found one every year for like eight straight years. Oh no, at least one. Yeah. I mean, those are beauties. Yeah, you had a little mouse chewing on this one. Yeah, yeah. Figured we got here. Nice don't big you? rack. Yeah, some nice toasted biscuits. Oh, geez, right on the fire. Yeah, yeah. cast iron. You can't yeah. beat it. I'm going to put a little jelly on mine, nice. I think. So tell the folks what we're doing today, Dottie. What, what's on the work schedule? Uh, well, I know what I'm doing. I'm skinning coyote. Yeah, I know. And I'm guess what I'm doing, folks? <laughs> <laughs> what I've been doing ever since I've been up here. Six work months. on that damned outhouse. Are you going to show them the book now or later? Uh, we'll, uh, yeah, we can show it to us now. Yeah, where's that, where's that right book? Here? This is great. Yeah, th this book was sent to us by a woman who watches uh, the channel. And she comes from St. John, New Brunswick. And it shows pictures. She's, she's obviously seen our episodes on me building yeah. an outhouse and taking so doggone long. But shows pictures of all kinds of outhouses. Look at that. That's great. And a little write-up about them. And so it's great. You know, it's great. Great yeah. fun. Yeah, so, that's awesome. So I'm uh, going to go show I've been, them. I've been studying it. And, oh, good. And, uh, so that's helping me a lot. I'm going to show them the progress, okay? Okay. I don't, or should I call it progress or regress? Well, I think it's a progress. Now. Okay. We got some snow last night, but this is going to be the back house. And Donnie's been V-matching it and insulating it, and we're going to put a metal roof on the top, and she's going to be a beauty. These are our bunk beds. I showed you guys those. And David Ames is over here teaching cribbage. He's giving me a whooping in cribbage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, how's that going? Well, you just tell them what you've been hearing. I've been there. hearing... Pretty poor hands from David, but I guess he did get a couple good ones. Yeah, but, saved him from getting But he's still uh, losing money. Yeah, I ought to 
I ought to give him a, a present. Put that right next to him. <laughs> He's gonna get scuffed. Oh, it's pointed at me. I'm in trouble. Uh -uh. It's pointed at me, Donnie. I'm in trouble. That's the that's the only side of the skunk I, you never I, want to see. I'm due for some big uh, hands. I know I'm due for a skunk myself. My father used to tell me when they were kids they'd try to get a skunk and 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 pull get it by the tail and get because the, it can't spray when the back legs are off the ground. So they used to try to grab the skunk by the oh, tail. Geez. I've never heard of that. Yeah. All right, we're gonna go this way. We're gonna keep those. If you guys know how to play cribbage, and we're gonna throw David these. I hope we don't cut him a jack to fit in between. Look at that. Oh no. Wow. Look at that. He got a jack. I'm in trouble now. Hmm. I gotta throw first. Three. Yeah. Three, huh? Uh you got another one? Nine. I do. Um let's go. Eighteen. Twenty-five. Twenty-eight. Thirty. Go. Thirty-one for five. Hey. Three for one. Yeah, that's want, a, <coughs> want any jelly on your No, one? no thanks. So I got first count. Dave, that, you wanna? No, I'm, I'm good. I, I that's have, a dozen there, Dave. That's good. I got two. <laughs> oh wow! Jesus. I'll yeah. give you a jack. <laughs> Probably got two points. Oh, I got six points. Three jacks. Now. Oh, you had all three jacks. I didn't lose my crib anyway, tied it. Dave's have been having a really rough run lately. <laughs> Terrible cards. <laughs> Terrible cards, but you've been getting the cuts at least. That one I didn't. <laughs> what did you need? I didn't even... I needed a Ooh. six, a seven, or an eight. This does not look good. Six cards, I don't have a point in my hand. Holy smokes. Gee. Is this pathetic cards? Well, I don't have a point. You know what? I'm gonna break my hand all up and do that. It's the most points I got. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> 10. 28. I took it twice. You took it twice? Well, Two for the 10 and then two for the 31. Oh, it's 31. Oh, you had 31. Right. I didn't know. Okay. Uh, four. Eight for two. 10. 16 for one. Look at this. All even cards. Jeez. You can't make a 15 with all even, but you got spades at least. I got, well, that's the only thing I, I had it through an eight, an ace out of that. Just to keep the. Well, I went in with nothing and I come out with four, I think, Dave. You see any more? What's the other card? No. Just a 15, two, and two, and yeah, four. Yeah. But in here, just the two. No, yeah, just two. Pretty lousy. Yeah. Good thing I paid. Bad hands. Hey. Donnie, we can't get any hands over here. <laughs> get one great big one every once in a while, but. Dave had a nice 21 a minute ago. You want a biscuit, Dave? No, I had one, thanks. You want a half a biscuit? No, thanks. I had uh, a little thing of uh, oatmeal and... You like the camp, Dave? Yeah. Love yeah. that, sir. Nice, yeah. Yeah. Just all you need is... <clears throat> all right, we got a hand. We finally got a hand, oh my gosh. What do you, and I got to throw to you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> they say don't break up a double run, right? I gotta break up a pair. <laughs> That's why you don't break it up right there. Three, wow. The three was cut. Twelve, you said? Mm -hmm. Twenty-two. Thirty-one. You had another one. Four. Five. Ten. Last cut. Yeah. All right, so I got fifteen, two, fifteen, four. And a double run is a dozen, and the right jack is 13. Wow. <clears throat> I got six, what I started with. That's what you went in with. And in here I got 
the two that I threw in. <laughs> He's got 21s on me before. Boy, my luck is going today. It's just. You should just oh, stay in camp ah, all day. I can't believe these hides. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> all right, I'm going to give you suited cards. Give him something good. I again. did. That time I gave him something good. If he cuts a club, he's got a chance. <laughs> See one, play one. Two, huh? Twelve. Fifteen for two. Eighteen for two. You son of a gun. Twenty. Thirty. One. One for the last card. Well, I got a cut. I got a cut. Zero to... 15, 2, 15, 4, and 3 is 7. I went from 0 to 7. Wow! You got, look at the cut he got. 15. <laughs> I got 15 without a 15. Yeah. Wow, Joey. If someone says they got to get going on the outhouse business, it doesn't mean they're going to pick up a hammer. Usually means something else. <laughs> Pick up a coffee cup. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, a, and a magazine. Yeah. And think about putting my sneakers on. No, don't worry about sneakers. You could work in you could work in your flip-flops all day. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna turn that coyote inside out now that it's had a couple days to dry. Might have let it go one day too many, but they buy it uh, fur out at market. Probably saving this one, but I still kind of turn it inside out like that. The arms are usually cut a little bit shorter. There it is, inside out. Get some blood to clean up off it. But it's a beautiful coyote right there. What you got, honey? We got some chopped suey. This is the old standby for camp. American chopped suey. Yeah, made a deer? Big, big batch. Deer? No, this isn't deer. Spicy? It's a little spicy. Beautiful. Just a little, not, not what, bad. What are these dogs doing inside? This is a no dog place. Well, oh they, my gosh. They were, they were roaming around camp and I said, well, we got to get rid of those Did you suckers. bring them in to keep warm? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, this one looks pretty nice. Yeah, it came out great, didn't it? Yeah. We got a bear laying on the floor, we got dogs sitting over there. Flies, look at all the flies in here, Donnie. Oh, David. No, right here. Huh? Oh, yeah, those flies, yeah. <laughs> he has a Camp's nice. kind of starting to come together. Those are not our finished uh, shelving, though, are they? Well, they look pretty nice. <laughs> no, they ah, don't. don't they? I knew you'd say that. <laughs> they look really oh, good. they look great. Yeah. Yeah. Those are not our finished shelving, Dave. They're not. What's that? In the kitchen, those is, that's not our finished shelving. Oh, it isn't? No. It isn't? And then tell us, a, Dave, tell us about this applesauce. That was something good we had last night. Now, that's made out of Northern Spy apples. And these are bread and butter pickles oh, and that's so good. zucchini relish. Jeez, Dave's famous Don, for Don that. eats the zucchini relish just like applesauce. Yeah. Yep, yeah, I do too. Yeah. And his pickles are world famous. Well, world renowned. Well, guys, we're going to... We're gonna drive this meal right into us and then we're gonna keep playing cribbage. I, I almost got enough money back to to pay for this entire camp from cribbage winnings. <laughs> and he's full of you know what too. <laughs> we're working on it. He's well, come over here, you can see him real good right here. He's like a football right there. Oh yeah, I see. <laughs> Step to your right, you got a better you'll get a better shot to your right. Got him. 
the first one is didn't have any powder in it yeah, did it i don't know what was wrong i heard every call of the first yeah. one <laughs> did you hear it yeah i guess you must have forgot to put the powder in it <laughs> that first shot didn't even sound no powder no powder no i heard the pellets just hit the the thing i heard every single pellet yeah it, it went puff he reloads oh so he must have forgot powder oh wow <laughs> I've yeah. had that happen before too. Wow. I heard, Dave, I heard every pellet hit. <laughs> I did. I did it sounded like he threw a thing of pellets in the woods. <laughs> yeah. Good oh. bird. Yeah. That looks like a spruce grouse. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a spruce grouse. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I couldn't see that son of a gun. Yeah. Why the uh, gobby right here that just landed in that tree.